Hello, it's Beards and Bangers. Um, I'm recording this on Friday, but you'll be watching this on the 2nd of January, so a happy new year to you. Today, I'm going to be detailing the engine bay of the Nissan Micra. Welcome to Beards and Bangers. So the first job is to, uh, not sponsored, cover that up, uh, is to get, some, get a good soaking of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, spray this in the engine bay. Try not to put my fingers over the lens. And give it a good old soaking and really let it avoid the battery. every nook and cranny in the engine bay. Change hands. And we'll let this now soak. Overnight. To get rid of the grease. So I thought it might be an idea to get some uh, footage of Kitten Face before I actually start tuning her because you're not really going to get much of a comparison if I don't. So uh, I'm just taking her for a little spin. It's a lovely afternoon. Um, I'm just going to take her out for a little spin and uh, see how she goes. Actually quite sunny, it's quite pleasant. Oh great traffic. First observation how small she is, I, I can actually touch my uh, GoPro there, uh, which I can't do in the ZT, it's too far. Um, but yeah, hopefully, as you get away from this traffic, you can uh, hear her. Or, although there's not actually much to hear, we've got that dear little CG10 engine under the bonnet, and it's quiet as a mouse. Just see my mate out gritting. No idea how many revs I'm doing because of course I haven't got a rev counter yet. Oh, I've still covered in grit, that's not good. We'll take her for a little spin. Um, and it's also good to get some heat into her as well. Okay, we're just pottering along a little bit of a chatter from the, um, the auxiliary belt so I think we'll have to look at that that's a nice easy job of these um, a little bit of a smell where I've sprayed it with degreaser but I haven't actually washed it off so getting a slight I hope it's the degreaser anyway because I've got a slight, slight burning rubber smell um, and I had a look under the bonnet and it seems to be coming from the heat shield so I think it's just a bit of degreaser stuck on the, the exhaust or the heat shield yeah, I'm just pottering around um, to the outskirts of my town. Um, we turned the, uh, the fan off so we got complete silence other than my voice droning on and on. Pulling out to around about a second, it's just really quiet. It's innocuous. Uh, because I have, so I have heard the exhaust. The exhaust is loud and obviously we'll get some uh, suction noises from the um, the induction kit that's going to go on as well. Um, got some rather slow driving. I 
Gaunt didn't face, that's it. So up into third, that's at 30. It's, it's quiet, isn't it? It's really quiet. I've got more noise from the tyres than I have from the, um, the engine or the exhaust. So. Got a nice little whine in first gear, I like that. That reminds me of my minis. Second. Goodness, you're slow, kid. Face. So I've not. Yeah, 45. That's all I got up to then. Um, temperature gauge that's bang on central I'm still trying to get rid of the fuel that the car came with so I'm still still above quarter of a tank I want to get rid of that and then uh, put some E5 E5 in yeah that's the right one isn't it E5 just to uh, give it some decent fuel yeah it's a completely different feel for me so it's uh, feel every little contour in the road, which is actually a good thing. Um, I think the power steering fluid will need flushing through, um, vacuum sucking out and then replacing, because it's a bit sluggish, the power steering. Some kind of noise, well it's got, just, just gone. Just pootling round, so I'm not not that far out of my local area, um, and it's pootling around fine. So I've just gone round at quite a sharp bend in third, and it's uh, yeah, it's got up to 40, all right, but it's uh, took its time, that's for sure. So there we are, you've heard Kitten Face, unmolested, untuned, you've heard the exhaust, you've heard the kind of in-car sounds, um, it'll be interesting when I edit this to see what it actually does sound like, because it's, it always sounds different when you play something back uh, compared to when you're actually doing it and driving. Um, but I was going to give her a bit of a drive this afternoon, just because she hasn't really had a drive since I've uh, got her, and, uh, and then we'll get on with the... Uh, cleaning the engine bay in just a bit. At this point in the video, I should be uh, scrubbing the engine bay, but um, the smell that I noticed wasn't actually burning rubber. It was uh, it was metal on metal on the uh, front offside brake. So um, luckily I was near uh, a mate's workshop. So I got it straight in there and he's gonna get some new brake discs and pads put on it tomorrow. Hopefully he doesn't need calipers as well, but uh, these things happen when you buy, restore, maintain, improve, deal with older vehicles. So the, today's plan was supposed to be detailing the engine bay. Uh, I'm actually really glad I took it out for a drive now so that um, we got managed to get a bit of content out of the day. But uh, these things happen. So that's going to kind of change the order of things slightly. So I was going to do the detailing and the um, induction kit first. Um, but seeing as my mate's now got the car, um, I'm going to get him to do the exhaust while he's got it on a ramp. 
it makes sense. Um, so yeah, luckily I've got that video, that clip of uh, the exhaust before, not that you can really hear anything, it's that quiet. Um, also interesting in that clip, um, I've actually already looked at that clip on my laptop, um, the gear selector is making a slightly clinky noise, um, and I'm sure some of you will have heard that earlier in the video. So. These things happen. Um, <clears throat> it's good. We've, we've uh, you know, found a problem with the car already. Um, something else I noticed while I was waiting for him to get back uh, to his workshop was that there was no water whatsoever in the expansion tank, and the radiator itself looks quite dry. So um, it was actually good to step, step back, pause, breathe. Um, and uh, and uh, have a good look over the car, which I've not really had a chance to do with you know bad weather, work, Christmas, other cars, all that kind of stuff. So not quite the ending to this video I was hoping for. Um, slightly abridged, but um, bear with me. Um, please um, continue to subscribe if you want to see what's going to happen with the uh, K11 Micra, which I'm sure some of you do, but also progress on some of the other vehicles as well. So. Um, Thank you for watching. Um, sorry this video hasn't gone to plan at all, but these things happen. I know a lot of you, a lot of my viewers are, you know, classic car and older car enthusiasts, people who are passionate about keeping some of these vehicles on the road. So these things do happen. So thank you for watching. Uh, I will see you again next time on the next episode of Beards and Bangers. Goodbye.